is this? What are we seeing? This oh. is so messed up, man. She's right here in front of me, and I can't reach her. <sighs> If your hearts are connected, you'll reach her. Rhyme. Uh, Neku. <laughs> Sora. In their world, something happened that brought their existence to an end. To keep them from fading altogether, I gathered up the very last remnants of their dreams and looked for a place to give them refuge. It was then this world appeared to answer my call, and Rhyme's dreams allowed us to reach it. Here, I thought they might have a chance that the pieces of their dreams could make them whole again. Imagine my surprise when I realized dreams take bodily form in this world. It struck me, by linking their dream pieces back together, maybe I could make them exist again. Maybe I could give them another chance. It can't be that simple. <laughs> well, why can't it? But when other people look at and see someone, that's the moment we each start to exist. All they needed was for someone to see them, connect with them. And the two of you were a big part of making it happen. Joshua, just who are you? <laughs> Let's say, a friend. One dream is connected to another, which means we must choose in which sleeping world you will begin. I will return you to the Destiny Islands just before they were swallowed by the darkness and plunged into sleep. Once dreams take you, you must let them guide you to the sleeping worlds. As there are seven pure lights, there are seven sleeping keyholes. Unlocking these will both grant you new powers and free the worlds from their wakelessness. Complete this task and return here safely, and I will name you both True Masters.
The real Jiminy Cricket wasn't trapped in this world, so maybe it's like the dream world's putting him back where he belongs. What's that? I can't hear you. Right. It's very nice to meet you, Jiminy. Well, sure. <laughs> the feeling's mutual, Sora. Oh, yeah. So, how come you said I need to get out of here? <laughs> you can't fool me. You still think we know each other. And you've just about got me thinking it, too. Hmm. But where was I? Oh, yes. This is a terrible place. Boys here are allowed to wreck things and loaf around and make jack of mules of themselves. And poor lost Pinocchio. He wandered in here on my watch. <gasps> That's right. That's where I must have heard your name, Sora. From my friend, Pinocchio. He knows me? But how? Shame on you, Pinocchio. Playing hooky and goofing off in a place like this. I'm sorry, Jiminy. I was going to school till I met somebody. Yeah, uh, two big monsters with big green eyes. Hmm? Oh, you don't say. And then what happened? They, uh, they tied me in a big sack. Oh. Sounds like you were horsing around. But I snuck off when they weren't looking. My nose! What's happened? There. You see where those tall tails will get you? But it's all true. Even the fella in the black clothes who said to play a trick on Sora. What? Now who was he? I've had just about enough of your fibbing. Hold on. I guess that part was true. <laughs> Tell me, Pinocchio, did that man in black say anything else to you? Um, he sure didn't. Well, good. Hey, look at that. That star again. The Blue Fairy. Why, Pinocchio... What has happened to your nose? Oh, um... Perhaps you haven't been telling the truth, Pinocchio. Sir Jiminy? Well, you see, uh, uh, Your Honor, uh, 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 Miss Fairy... Oh, please help me. I'm awful sorry. You see, Pinocchio, a lie keeps growing and growing until it's as plain as the nose on your face. I'll never lie again. Honest, I won't. I'll forgive you this once, but remember, 
A boy who won't be good might just as well be made of wood. We'll be good, won't we? Very well. But this is the last time I can help you. <gasps> that guy again. Forget him. If I don't find Pinocchio, he'll turn into a donkey like the rest of the boys. Right. Ha! Ha! Yeah! 